Hello, this is Christy. I have made a few videos in the past about how to convert images to video sequences. So if you have a sequence of images that came from your camera or you render them in a 3D program and you would like to convert them to video sequences, then I have two tutorials on my channel to do this in Premiere and in Shotcut so far. I may do others, but one question I get from a lot of uh, subscribers is this. If the files are not in order, the sequence doesn't work. So you cannot create a sequence, a video sequence from a sequence of images if you have file names that are missing the number. So the file names of the images you want to convert to a, to a video must be numbered in order. And if you have any gaps, then the program trying to convert the sequence will not be successful. So it's gonna just stop there where it finds the first missing image. Some uh, subscribers have asked me, how do I do this? Because um, I have files coming from a camera. Maybe the file names are actual timestamps or something, they're not in order and I would still like to add them in order to my sequence and make a video from them. So here's how to do this very quickly using a free tool called Total Commander. You can download this from gisler.com. It's a free tool. You can download it. It's a file manager and I have it right here on my uh, computer and I have selected just to show you how it works. It is a very powerful, it has a very powerful multi rename tool. And this tool, you find it in the file menu here, but I'm just gonna show you. So I selected a few images, I downloaded them from Unsplash. They're all different sizes and different file names. There's nothing in these files that is in order in any way. So this may be something that you have in your situation. If you have the images from your camera, you may have gaps on there or whatever. So just to show you how to do this, I downloaded just 10 images, so I'm, I'm not gonna do uh, bother with so many thousands or hundreds of images, but the process is the same. So I have all the images in a folder here. I'm going to open Total Commander and navigate to that folder where the images are. If you want to select all the images, press the um, selection asterisk here or on your numeric pad, press the asterisk key that's going to select all the files. So they're all selected here. They're all highlighted in red. And now to rename them. Notice I'm not actually changing the order of the files because they are just alphabetical right now. And this is probably how you have them in your folder. Alphabetical because that's how Windows sorts file by default. And they're all selected now. Press this asterisk key to select them and then press the files menu and go to the multi rename tool or you can press control M. So this will bring this image here that shows me the uh, selected files, the old name and this column here shows me a preview of what the new name is going to be. So make sure you don't have any search and replace here. I played with this before so I may have values in here but look at this. So if you don't change anything the rename mask is on the top left. So by default you have the name of the file. So basically there's nothing going to happen by default here, right? So you have the old name and the new name are exactly the same. So how to rename these in order? Well, it's really simple. All I have to do is just remove the N here from the rename mask. So notice now that my new name actually has no name. So don't press start on this before you finish this. So what I want to do is just let's just call them image. You notice as I type the new name updates to reflect what I'm typing. So at the moment, all the files are going to be renamed to image. Obviously, this is not going to work because they will be overwritten. So I'm going to add a dash here, just a minus key. And now I want to add a sequential number. So how do I do this? Well, you can add a counter. Look at this here, counter. It's uh, open bracket. C and close bracket. Or you can press this button and it will insert this sequence of characters here in the file name. So watch this. All of the images are now numbered in order 
zero one zero two zero three four and so on what you may actually see is this if you go to the right here to define your counter you can set a starting number and a step number and digits so now i have four digits here that's why i get padding with zero 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 one so if you want to just put one digit that may not be what you want because if you have more than nine images your file number 10 is actually going to get the number 10 but everything before 10 is going to have a single digit and if you rename them like this in windows explorer they will actually be sorted with 1 10 11 you're going to get 1 1 11 1 1 1 and so on depending on how many images because explorer only does a alphabetical sort not an alphanumeric sort so the numbers are not going to be in order so to solve this problem you have to add padding zeros in front of your numbers that's why if i only have 10 images it's enough to select here two digits right because it puts a zero in front of all these single digit file names and then a 10 at the end that i'm set but if i have a hundred images or more in the triple digits then i can do three digits if i have a thousand images i do four if i have ten thousand images you know five and you get the picture so add as many digits as you like up to 10 digits in front of your number to ensure that the files stay in that order when you've renamed them so i'm just going to leave 10 digits here um so when you're ready you know these are the new names that your files are going to have you can check that each one of them becomes the appropriate number and you press start to rename them and there you have it you can close this window and go back and look at this all of the images have been renamed in order and you can now go to either premiere or shortcut or any other program you want to convert your sequence in to video and just pick the first one and tick the, the sequence box and it's going to find all of the next images and put them in order this is how you do it with the multi rename tool of course the multi rename tool has much more functions in here you can add uh, the date and the timestamp and all that so if you need it for other purposes of file renaming you know just feel free to explore one tip though make sure you you make a copy of your files in a se in a separate folder so instead of you know in case you mess something up with this tool you do not actually delete or rename your good files so make sure you have a backup of that folder and of course this doesn't just work with images you can rename any number of files in any extension any configuration whatever you can convert them from uppercase to lowercase file names and you can do all sorts of tricks with this tool i hope this was useful if you enjoy my tutorials and you find this useful like it and share it and if you have any questions about future tutorials about this tool about you know if you have any other ideas for tutorials please feel free to leave them in the comments thank you for your time have a great day see you next time <music>